Hello everybody, um, Allison here. I feel like it's been a minute. So I actually, I took a Pilates class with a friend recently. I, it's been years since I've done like a real Pilates class. Um, clearly I do more yoga, but uh, it was with that reformer machine. And I don't know if any of you have ever done that. It's very challenging for the strength. And it reminded me that we actually can do a lot of this stuff in yoga. Um, yoga often is thought about as, as all about flexibility and hopefully if you, you know, have taken from any of us at One Tree Yoga, you know that, that we also like to build strength. And so um, in my classes, I often like to use, you kind of need a slippery surface. So if you're on carpet, I recommend like go in your kitchen, go, you know, bathroom somewhere where you've got a slippery surface, but we can use blankets or, you know, socks to create this instability really is the same thing as a reformer um, in order to build strength. So I wanted to go over a few fun drills today that are primarily going to be building strength in, in the core, the deep core, and the legs. Um, so that you can hopefully see how just some of these simple strength building drills can help with so many poses like, you know, standing balancing poses, uh, poses like down dog, plank, handstand, um, really building that by kind of making the ground beneath us less stable. So um, you for sure need a slippery surface, at least one blanket. I've got a couple blankets, so if you have two, grab two. I've also got a couple blocks and a strap. You don't need those, but there's a couple things we're going to do, I think, that will make your life easier. So kind of grab all the things. And just find a comfortable seat for a second, and you can use your strap. If you don't have a strap, you just kind of use your hand. So when we talk about deep core, and of course I could full hour lecture on all the anatomy of like what is the deep core but when we think about it in terms of our torso it really goes deeper than you know six pack abs it's it's sort of what are those those muscles that are closer to the spine and, and in our case of the torso the transverse abdominis it's i'm making the circle because it's actually horizontal fibers that go horizontally and wrap like around basically protecting the spine and so that idea of, of sort of pulling everything in, not just from the front, but from the sides and the back, kind of like shrink wrapping in is, is sort of what we're after when we're doing a lot of this work. And I sometimes like the memory, if you take a strap, because often what happens, right, is, is we're not strong in our bellies, in our core, and so we sort of dump forward, our ribs blast forward when we're doing belly work, and it's like, ouch, our low back doesn't like it, also I'm using like, no core strength here. And so this idea in class I'll often you the, use the cue of a corset. So you want to sort of think of like you're, you're going to pull your ribs in and back like a corset. So if you take the strap right behind you, I've got it right below the shoulder blades, and you can kind of wrap it around just below the chest, kind of right where your ribs come to a little point here. And just hold on really close, hands close together. And just take a big inhale and kind of let the belly, ribs, everything just sort of open and expand. And as you exhale, I want you to pull everything from all four, all sort of three-dimensional sides. So front, sides, and back. Pull everything in and I want you to pull and tighten this stretch. You can feel what it's like to sort of condense in the ribs and then do the same thing in the belly. Front belly, side belly, back belly. And then loosen the reins a little, inhale normally. Exhale, pull, don't like overdo it, but just a little gentle tug. And you kind of feel that corset action. Pull your belly toward the front of your spine, relax. Do that a couple more times. So with exhale, you do a little pull. It's this corset action where you're gonna think of ribs like basket weaving together, but then you've gotta also create that same action in the belly, so it's all like, Shrink wraps in, yeah? All right, lose the stretch. So you kind of keep that in your brain. And come to your knees. Now, I don't even have my mat set up because we're really not gonna use it much, but you might wanna pad your knees for now to come to all fours. And I want you just here to sort of get a sense that like naturally, if left to my own devices, <laughs> this is what my belly and ribs kind of wanna do. And that's fine, like we're doing cat cow, of course. But if we're really trying to go for a neutral, deep core strength, and we're going to do that same action we did with the strap, except no strap. So pull your front ribs in like a corset. Draw your tailbone down. Pull your front belly back. 
and really find that transverse abdominus, so all the way around the torso. Hug everything in and push them out of it. So instead of this, you see my belly going towards the floor. I'm really trying to pull everything in, not just the belly, but also the front ribs. So just try that a couple times where you kind of relax, like this, like not quite using belly strength, and then find that action. So keep this action here, transverse abdominus nice and strong. Straighten your left leg behind you. So your work is gonna try to not let the low back down and the belly ribs move toward the floor. So you try to keep it pulled together. And then stretch your right arm forward. Keep the front ribs pulled in. Remember the memory of the strap and you can let your left leg lift. So again, it's really easy to come into this. Try to pull it together. Try to just pull it together. Good release. Stretch your right leg back, stretch your left arm forward. Again, it's going to take some retraining. I've been doing this for years and I still have to really think about it. Ribs and belly back, and you can lift the left or the right leg back. So I don't care how high your leg goes, I'd rather you try to keep everything contained in the center of the body. Belly to spine, pull front ribs in, wrap all the way around transverse abdominis. Great, go back to side one one more time again. Kind of take your time to find where, where you can keep integrity in the core, in the torso, in the center of the body, and then back to side two. So again, one side it might be harder for you, so worry less about how high, high the leg goes and more about keeping integrity in the torso and the belly. Good, go ahead and release. And it depends, right? Some of us, especially women, especially women that have like a dance gymnastics background like I do, so easy to like let our low back just like go for it and that can feel really fun because like back bends are easier but but unfortunately when it comes to this sort of deep core strength less helpful so for some of us more than others it's going to be harder to work right all right so come to all fours once again but this time slide it either your knees are on the blanket slide your knees back a little bit so now my knees are slightly behind my hips and i want you to find that deep core strength again so push your hands into the mat, draw your tailbone down, pull your front ribs and belly back. So find that corset action and just lift your feet off the floor. Now your goal is not gonna go here. Try not to drop, but pull it in and up. And then just slide the knees back just like an inch or two. In fact, my teacher Noah, when we would do this, he would always say, don't go further than you can actually come back in. And then just pull the knees in a couple of inches. So I'm going barely anything. Slide the knees out an inch or two. Find your corset. Move from the belly, move from the center. Pull the knees in. So you kind of got to pull your hands back by symmetric. Do that a couple more times. Slower is better because you'll catch yourself sort of going into that dump mode. So try to keep the integrity. Pull in and out. Again, don't go very far. It's not about we can slide their knees in the furthest. Take a break, sit upright, pause, soften, right? So you know when to engage, when to find the corset, and when to relax. So this next one, we're gonna up the ante. So if at any point you're like, oh, this is too much, go back to the knees, and go back to the little movements. But I find a little more luck with my hands on the box. Um, some of it is like a leg to arm length ratio. Um, torso ratio too, so some people maybe don't need, need that as much. But I would give it a try and watch because it feels really easy. You can always lose them. So spread your fingers on the box. Turn your hands out a little bit on the box. And then this time, you're going to tuck your toes under on the blanket and slide the legs back so now we're like. So you can always put the knees down for a second if you need to rest. But find that corset. Pull your front ribs and belly back. Look forward ahead of your box and just start to pull the feet in. Go a little bit and then slide back out. Find your corset, pull the blanket in and out. Rest for a second. So that's the action. Some of you are going to stay with that like a little bit forward, a little bit back, especially if you're like, holy moly, this is hard. But eventually, we're trying to go towards shoulders over wrists hips over shoulders, that sort of pike position, um, which can actually be a lot on the wrist, so you have to take that into account, but, but often it's like the belly is not ready for that. So I'll show you what it looks like. You 
you can give it a try, and if you need to back off, then you just don't slide your feet as far in, right? So you find your plank pose, you can watch, unless you know, unless you know it's coming. Find your corset, belly back, ribs in, find your transverse abdominis, look forward, keep your heels high, and start to slide the blanket in. See, I'm trying to lift, 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 lift my hips. So hard, pull the blanket to the box, bend your knees, slide back. You can rest in between if you need to. Otherwise, give it another one or two tries. So always find the corset, pull your ribs and belly back, shift forward, and then slide. It's slow. Yeah, feel that. Bend the knees, slide back. Give it one or two more tries. Again, maybe you don't go all the way. You just do a little bit, little bit. I think that sort of has to happen first. Like anything we do in yoga, you can't skip to step 10, you've got to get steps one through nine. But then come have a rest, give your wrists a break, that can sometimes be a lot for the wrists. Blocks. You have a second blanket. Let's fold the two blankets. Kind of like these squares. We've got one more thing on the wrist, and then we'll give our wrists a break. So, Two blankets next to each other. Feet on the blankets, toes curled under. So your knees are going to be on the hard floor for just a sec. Come to all fours. Now I vote no blocks here. Again, if you think it's easier with the blocks, you can just use the blocks. It can be a little easier on your wrist. Spread your fingers wide. Step one, always find your course. Pull your front ribs in, belly back, transverse abdominis. Slide your legs back, ribs like pose. But one foot's on one blanket, the other foot's on the other. Take a big inhale. Exhale, pull your right knee towards your right elbow. Slide that blanket in. Don't forget the core's in it. Slide back. Exhale, slide two. Slide left knee in. So it's like mountain climbers, right? Slide back. You could go faster. Or go slower, right? So if you tend to struggle, take a break. If you tend to struggle with this corset action, if that's new for you, slower is going to be your friend. How you build the muscle memory. You know, I've been doing this long enough and I still have to think about it quite a bit. But then, like, then, you know, once you've been doing it a while, give it another try. You can go faster. Cardio yoga, right? And then give your, give your belly, give your wrist a break. Take a couple of breaths. So really try to settle. And it is hard. Yoga is hard. Welcome. Yoga, even on a slippery surface, is even more hard. You take away the stability. It's really hard. All right. One blanket. Unfold it so you've got a big rectangle. Stand up. So we'll give our wrists a little break. So stand in mountain pose facing uh, in front of your blankets, rather. Feet hip width distance and really spread your toes wide. So the key to any balance or anything on one leg is like give your, give your feet space and bring hands to hips and bring your left toes, so toes tucked under on that, that slippery surface behind you. Remember, same work here. Pull your ribs and belly back because we're trying to engage that, that core, the, the torso, but also now we're gonna add inner thighs. So when we talk about deep core, we actually are talking about arches of feet, inner thighs in this case, and then all the stuff that goes on here. So, big inhale. Don't forget your corset. Sometimes I even leave my hands like this to remind myself, belly back. And then exhale, slide the left leg back, bend into the right knee, lunge, hips are square. Here's the hard part, use your inner thighs, Pull the left leg in. Yeah, and if that was too much, don't slide your leg as far back. Let's do three more. Exhale. Let's do the inhale, slide back. Let's do it here. On the exhale, we'll pull it in. Exhale. Squeeze inner thighs, push down through the front right foot. Don't forget your ribs. And again, inhale, slide out. Pull everything together. Exhale, slide back. Awesome. Let's do one more. Slide in, pause here. Now really stabilizing this right leg and just pick your left foot up a little bit. So you can see how this helps build some strength in that standing leg. So you could do something like tree pose. Turn your left leg out, 
perhaps find a great shots on a tree pose. Keeping that strength in the right leg, inner thigh, deep core strength in the belly. Now the blues 
just a blanket. So now it's like, we did all this work, strong core, strong inner thighs, we did some tree pose, and now it's like, how does bridge feel if you go and interlace your hands, tuck, tuck? Now that I've got like super strong glutes, super strong hamstrings, a hell of a lot easier. Breathe here. Scratch the surface. Sky's the limit. Hopefully you guys um, enjoy these videos. But come see us in class. We'd love to see you in the studio. Um, so I hope you all have a good day. Thank you.